how to clear or block cookies in Google Chrome. What is a cookie? An internet cookie or HTTP cookie is a small piece of data stored on the user's computer generated by a site you are browsing and is accepted and processed by your computer's web browser. Cookies were designed to be a reliable mechanism for websites to remember stateful information or to record the user's browsing activity. They can also be used to remember pieces of information that the user previously entered into form fields. So to clear and block cookies, the first thing you need to do is open up Google Chrome. As you can see, I have Google Chrome open here. Next, what you'll need to do is look to the top right hand side of the Google Chrome browser and left click on these three vertical dots here. Once you've done that, you wanna navigate all the way down to where it says settings. Left click on that. Once you've done that, you'll be in Google Chrome settings. Next, what you need to do is look on the left hand side here and find privacy and security. Once you've found it, left click on it. In privacy and security now, you should see four options here. The first option is to clear browser data, clear history, cookies, cache, and more. The one underneath that is cookies and other site data. And as you can see, it says cookies are allowed. That's the current settings that I have. Next is security, safe browsing, protection from dangerous sites, and other security settings. And the last option here is site settings, controls what information sites can use and show, such as location, camera, pop-ups, and more. So the first thing I'm going to be showing you is how to clear cookies from the Google Chrome browser. To do this, you'll need to left click on clear browsing data. In here, you'll also have an option to clear cookies. So I'm just going to left click on this here and then you'll be greeted with a little pop-up window here. Make sure you're in basic. As you can see, there's advanced and basic. I'm currently on basic, so you need to make sure you're in basic too. Once you've done that, you'll need to look at time range here and you'll need to select a time range for the cookies to be deleted. So as you can see, the first option is last hour. The one after that is the last 24 hours and after that last seven days and the one after that is last four weeks and lastly all time. For the sake of this video I'm going to be going with last hour. Next you'll need to select the data type that you want to clear. As you can see the first option is browsing history, clears history and autocompletes in the address bar. We're not going to be clearing browsing history today as the main focus is cookies so I'm going to uncheck this. Once you've done that move on to the next option here which says cookies and other site data signs you out of most sites so what you're going to do is make sure you have cookies and other site data checked as you can see it's currently checked most likely it would be like this for you all you need to do is left click on the box here to check mark it and the last option here is cached images and files this frees up less than 200 megabytes some sites may load more slowly on your next visit and we're going to be unchecking this as we're dealing with cookies only once you're done with your selections, all you need to do is left click on clear data here, this big blue button, just left click on it and then Google Chrome will clear for that particular time range. Great, so now you know how to clear cookies, but how do you block cookies? To do this, what you'll need to do is make sure you're in privacy and security and instead of selecting clear browsing data, this time you're going to be selecting cookies and other site data. Just left click on it. Once you're here, you should be able to see general settings here. I'm just going to scroll down so that you can see most of the page here. As you can see, the current settings for internet cookies that I have is allow all cookies. So sites can use cookies to improve your browsing experience. For example, to keep you signed in or to remember items in your shopping cart. Sites can use cookies to see your browsing activity across different sites. For example, to personalize ads. So I've allowed all cookies. There's there's a couple of more options here. The one below allow all cookies is block third party cookies in incognito. Next option is to block third party cookies. And finally, you have the option to block all cookies. So if you left click on this, you can see that Google Chrome tells you what exactly blocking all cookies will do to your browsing experience. So as you can see, sites can't use cookies to improve your browsing experience. For example, to keep you signed in or to remember items in your shopping cart. Sites can't use your cookies to see your browsing activity across different sites. For example, to personalize ads, features on many sites will break. So this is the reason why I allow all cookies. However, for you, you might want to block all the cookies. I'm just going to continue scrolling down here just to show you a couple of more options that you have. So as you can see, you have the ability to clear cookies and site data when you quit Chrome. So you can simply left click on this here to activate this option. As you can see, I can't actually activate this because I currently have block all cookies selected. Next, send a do not track request with your browsing traffic. I've left that as it is. You might want to activate that. 
preload pages for faster browsing and searching, prefetches information from pages, including pages you have not visited yet, information fetched may include cookies if you allow cookies. So I've left that on, you can turn that off if you want. And then the last few options here, see all cookies and site data. So you can left click on this arrow to see all your cookies. Sites that can always use cookies, you can add them here. Always clear cookies when windows are closed. Again, you can add these sites that you want the cookies to clear every time a window is closed in your browser. Sites that can never use cookies, again, you can add those particular sites. All right, guys, I'm just going to scroll back up to the top here, and I'm personally not going to block all cookies. However, you can do so if that's what you want to do. So I'm going to allow all cookies. Once you've adjusted the cookies general settings, you're pretty much done now. Just make sure you scroll back all the way to the top, left click on this arrow here, and then simply close out of this tab, and all your changes would have been made. All right, guys, that pretty much concludes how to clear and block cookies. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give this video a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Wait, is it so